Hi hello welcome to Satish Manjida Manjida is the name of my village a small village amidst the blue hills of Nilgiris from the south of India Today's post is about a book from my favorite favorite author I've done a small uh, Tamil review of this book in the same channel and uh, this book is very close to me uh, many times you know when you read a book or a novel the story the plot the characters nothing stays with you, you know it it it, uh, it is completely blank though the book has uh, given you a beautiful reading experience after some time when you want to recall the story or the plot nothing stays with you but then this book is entirely entirely different if you ask me what is there in this book i would say it has nothing at the same time it has everything so today's book is from Anish Salim, the blind lady descendants. In fact, uh, uh, I started reading uh, Anish Salim through a Vanity Bag. That's the first no- novel. And uh, after Vanity Bag, I started to search all of Anish Salim's book, and uh, this is the second one to pick, the blind lady descendants. Not because you know it has got the Sahitya Academy Award for the year 2018, but then this book deserves more. This book deserves more than that. Such a a beautiful uh, uh, work from anish salim anish salim is a uh, is a master storyteller and his power over the language is something uh, really amazing here in the first first uh, few lines the first few uh, few lines that is in the first paragraph the author uh, lays the foundation you know once you are done with the first ten lines it just holds you and you are with the book and uh, the protagonist of this uh, novel is amar amar's uh, parents are hamsa and asma look at the names how the author has given the name are quite similar but then they are not a happy married couple and uh, they have a very dysfunctional relationship and amar is uh, their son he has two sisters one sister she uh, amar loves her more and she goes for an excursion and uh, where she uh, drowns in the lake and there is another sister who uh, who is very selfish and uh, jealous she wants everything and uh, for a marriage uh, they sell their property and uh, amar has one brother uh, called akmal Uh, where uh, he is very god fearing god fearing and he does uh, namaz five times a day and uh, all the times he is with the quran and he goes to the mosque so this story is about the people who live in that house they call the house as the bungalow but then it's not a posh and a and a, and a glamour bungalow but then uh, it's the bungalow ready to fall any time and the title the title if you look at the title the blind lady descendants the blind lady is the old woman in fact you know she is blind but then the blind lady here i think the author has given as a metaphor because almost all the characters who live in that bungalow uh, is blind though they have eyes they can't see what is happening in front of them and they are blind to many things which is happening in front of them that's the right way to uh, say so this uh, Uh, the the characters are sketched so beautifully and uh, every characters uh, make a very strong impact though the protagonist amar's uh, father he makes a very little appearance in the novel his character is very strong and there is this javi um, amar's uh, maternal uncle and uh, javi commits suicide and Amar gets hold of Javi's diary and Javi's book. You know all the books Javi, whatever he reads, you know he write the uh, date uh, when he finishes the particular book. And uh, you can see Amar as an alter ego of his uh, maternal uncle Javi. So uh, when the story is being narrated, you know when the book comes, when the book begins, Javi is twenty six, twenty six years uh, old. and you can call this almost as a, a suicidal note the only thing is 
a suicidal note of Amal, the only thing is it runs for 300 pages, 301 pages to be uh, precise. And uh, with all this, uh, with every page, uh, you have whatever a novel should have. There is humor, there is love, there is deception, and there is uh, sometimes you know you you cry and you laugh at the characters, and uh, uh, the writing is simple and reader friendly. That's what I I would I would say. Uh, so the 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 descriptions are so beautiful, you know, so beautiful. It it, it just brings the image in front of you. Uh, you you read it, you literally fall in love. With this. I don't want to say the story and make it a spoiler, but then uh, many would say that the first lines are so beautiful. Uh, the first, the first, uh, the opening lines of this novel are so beautiful. That is, uh, Amar uh, says that uh, his mother used to drive tiny nails into the front door to prevent bad luck. But then bad luck comes to the back door, and uh, when he grows up, you know, he get used to uh, the bad luck and he sees bad luck as a part of a uh, family and uh, how the family uh, falls into pieces is what this uh, book is all about and he, he, the, the way you look at the, the train tunnel or the mosque or the, the clinic where Dr. Ibrahim is, if you can't uh, you can't say you can't neglect anything in this particular book. Everything is important, and everything together makes this a, a compelling, compelling read. And uh, towards the end, uh, when he finishes uh, the suicidal note, that is Javi says, the only thing is worried is you know he's written this, he has left it. The only thing is worried is my only fear is of the termites. That is what uh, the, the the finishing line of this. Uh, beautiful beautiful novel so the, my only fear is of the termites so uh, this book shouldn't uh, be ideal it should be read by many and I would strongly strongly recommend this uh, book everyone should uh, read it what if Anisalim have written in uh, Malayalam I would have been an unfortunate reader because I'm just an amateur in reading Malayalam uh, thank you so much for uh, uh, bringing such a wonderful uh, work of art uh, to the Indian lit literature. Uh, this is uh, uh, not a book to be cherished, no, we have to, it has to be celebrated. The book has to be celebrated and the author has to be celebrated. Thank you and happy reading.